Now, usually I don't do this, but uh, go ahead on, break them off with a little previews of the remix. Now Hello, uh, this is Harper, and today I'm going to be taking you through uh, how to post a support thread for um, LCPD first response. Uh, because I'm seeing a lot of threads recently of, oh, I've installed the game and now it won't work, or this has broken my game, help me now. Well, first of all, as we all know, 0.95 has no support, so don't even try to ask for it on the forms, because you'll just get a no-no and a locked thread. 0.91 does have support, so uh, follow these steps, and um, by the end of it, you should know how to post correctly. First thing you want to do is you want to go on to the forms here, the lcpdfr.com slash cop slash. Go to forums. Scroll down to support. Right. Read this thread. I cannot tell you how many times I've seen this posted on people's support threads. Read this one first. Right. First, you obviously check for check the forum for your thread. See if there's anything similar to your problem. Then this. Make sure you're not using a crack. It says clearly here they do not support cracks. Quite right, so. If you like the game, support the developers and buy it. Right. Make sure you've updated Grand Theft Auto 4 to 1.7 or Episodes from Liberty City 1.12. To do this, a uh, little Google search here. Type in. Should be this one here at the top if you've typed in exactly what I've typed. Now scroll down to where it says patch files and click on the one relative to your language. So this one will be English. More or less downloading. Um, if you have updated it, uh, make sure that firstresponse.net DLL is in the scripts folder and advanced hook is in your GTA 4 root folder. Okay, so open your graphic root folder. You can click on the desktop and click open file location. This will bring you to your root folder. First, look for the advanced hook. There it is. Now click on your scripts folder and LCPDFR should be in there. There should be a folder named LCPDFR. And there should also be a first response and first response.net. Just to double check, everything's where it should be. Installed version, audio. Okay. Make sure you have a script hook. Um, a lot of people seem to forget that script hook is um, one of the main things this runs on. Without a script hook, this will not work. Quite simple. Uh, you can find a script hook. Personally, when I had problems with this on my old computer, I used a script hook uh, that was in Simple Native Trainer. So if we just Google this. Right, it should be this one here. Simple Native Trainer version 6.3 by Sidjack327. Go ahead and download that and um, the read means I think I've got it in here somewhere. Uh, it's going to be. You should get this WinRAR file. Let's try that again. Oh, that's number two. Right. When you open this, uh, the trainer WinRAR, you should see script hook, trainer, ASI, trainer, TBOGT, ASI, trainer to lad, dot ASI, trainer dot INI, lad, TBOGT. Ignore this file. Um, I'm not quite sure what it's for, but it's not needed. 
there's a readme telling you how to install the trainer but for GTA 4 you just click this file trainer.asi and trainer.ini open your GTA 4 root folder and just drag and drop if you're on episodes from Liberty City you do the same thing you open your root folder and you copy trainer dot no trainer tbogt.asi trainer tlad.asi trainer 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 these five files that right next to it you drop and drag you drag and drop onto um into your episode from Liberty City root folder uh, that's once I used the script hook from the trainer uh, the mod started to work right now we have we have a look on here that is now downloaded update 7 so double click the raw file and you should get this folder extract it to your desktop or wherever you want it but desktop is probably the easiest way to find it right title update double click it right click this one here right click and run at his as administrator and just follow the steps do not I'm not going to do it because my game's already updated uh, yeah once that's updated try the mod again and if it still doesn't work there should be uh, another thing make sure you have um, I think it's Microsoft script uh, net dot net or something uh, both of these uh, if you don't have net framework it might work because if you read the thing it's Microsoft's comprehensive and consistent programming model for building applications that have visually stunning user experiences uh, LCPDFR runs on this and you also want C++ visual um, I'm not sure if the mod runs on C++ uh, someone could probably correct me on that but be sure to download the version relative to your operating system. x86 is 32-bit and x64 is 64-bit. To find out your version, go onto computer, right click and go to properties. And if you see here, system type, 64-bit operating system. Right, once you've updated your game and you're still getting problems, find, uh, click this diagnostic report, download it open it run it I just extract that to my desktop okay so extract it first find it right this should come up check GTA 4 or check episodes from Liberty City click either one start this is now going to check for any errors and see if your computer can run it at the same time. So just let this run. It's not meant to do that. Uh, oh yeah, right. The thing you have to do is you have to uh, first obviously extract it to your desktop. I'm going to put it in the update folder. Right, run it as an administrator. Right, start again. You will now get this file. Uh, copy it to your clipboard or save as a text file, either one. You should get all green lines here, but if you have something wrong, uh, obviously try and if it's a LCPD first response, like not found or audio not found, just reinstall the mod as an administrator. Uh, if you do get an error you're not sure about, go onto the forms, uh, click support. Click start new topic. Put in a relative topic tile. Um, obviously, do not put 0.95 because you won't get any support. Uh, let's say uh, we've got an unspecified error or something. Now, uh, put in a like, decent description. Keep it informative. Uh, I've just recently installed uh, 
most common thing I'm seeing is uh, when I start the game and press out plus P, nothing happens. The screen just goes blurry. Right, the reason the screen goes blurry is because P is a shortcut to toggle definition in the graphics settings. Just press P again and you'll get um, a solid picture again. Uh, put, always say I've attached the diagnostics below, or you can um, say in the spoiler below you will find my diagnostics report that I'll do open bracket spoiler close bracket paste in the stuff you got from the error report go down here and just after this uh, type open bracket forward slash spoiler close bracket and Click preview or see post your topic. You, if you've saved it as a file, you click choose file, then attach this file. Uh, preview post. Uh, see, this is nice and simple. You're not demanding for any help, you're just asking for help. Uh, people can click this, see what the problem be by looking at these few lines, any of these. And now you just wait for a response. Don't hassle people. Do not say, look at my friend now, help me now, or you're all useless, because, um, yeah, they won't help you, I'm afraid. So, uh, that's about it. That's uh, a dummy's guide to posting a support thread. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I uh, hope this has helped you. Uh, thanks for watching.